thrust. Sweet. And again. Remember the shame of Kirby. Never again. Is that it? Is that all you lot have? Someday soon, your head will be mine. My lord. Wake up. I was dreaming. I thought you were depressed by Chur B. But I see you're relaxed enough to nap. There is no point. In crying now. Now is a time for rest. For eating, sleeping, and training for our next battle. <laughs> Cao Cao, Sun Quan, Liu Bei. Following the Battle of Chirbi, these three men became the center of everything. Cao Ren, charged with the defense of Jiangling, performed admirably against the combined onslaught of Sun Quan and Liu Bei. Even though the city eventually fell to Zhou Yu, he was able to hold out for more than a year. Afterward, Cao Cao again began plotting a campaign to invade the South and sent for Ma Tung. Ma Tung was one of the men involved in the previous attempt to assassinate Cao Cao. Cao Cao was determined to eliminate this possible threat before making his move south. However, his actions would lead to trouble in the West. With his father killed, Ma Tung's son, Ma Chao, gathered an army together with Han Sui and rose up against Cao Cao. Cao Cao was forced to postpone his southern campaign and instead sent his troops to Guangzhou. He was more than prepared to face his new adversary, a man consumed by the desire for revenge. The strategies of his master tactician at the ready, they came head to head at Tong Gate. I suppose it is from fatigue, but Lord Cao Cao seems to have lost his edge. Really? Well, isn't it the job of a strategist to cover for that? Hmm. It is hard for even me when he does too much. You seem tired, my lord. Joshu, tell me, what strategy have you devised for us? We will strike them head on, although it may appear foolish. The enemy is filled with people from Guangzhou. Until recently, they were all mortal enemies of each other. You mean to destroy them from within? 
Precisely. I have heard that you and the enemy general Han Sui are old acquaintances. So, you are in need of my assistance for your plan. Very well. Excellent, Lord Cao Cao. Now, if you will. To think he would use my past friendships to our advantage. He is not one to be underestimated. I figured they were nothing but a bunch of puny farmers. But they're much stronger than I thought. Those guys are sure proving to be a lot of trouble. <laughs> you are exactly right, my rotund friend. How should we deal with those meddlesome cavalry units? Poor Shu Chu. With Dian Wei gone, he has to protect our lord all by himself. Ma Chao is much stronger than I expected. He has truly earned every bit of his reputation. Our force's morale is continuing to wane. We are in quite a predicament. Hmm. I wonder how we should proceed. I had no idea Ma Chao's men were so strong. It's almost as if they're trained for this. Ma Chao's at his strongest on horseback. We have to get him to ground level with the rest of us. They say nothing good comes from revenge, but that's exactly where Ma Chao's energy comes from. I'm sick of fighting. I haven't had a day off in months. You really do look happiest when you're thinking of a strategy. The general is worn out. You're the strategist. Why don't you come up with a plan? I'm sorry. I'm just having a bad day. Han Sui and our lord are old friends? How would you know, outsider? Hear that one of the enemy is described as splendid. I do look forward to meeting him. You are a strange one, aren't you? Lord Zhang He says General Sha Ho Yuan is the most beautiful. Strange idea of beauty, if you ask me. Time is nearly upon us. Let us make our move. Understood. I am putting you in charge of my forces for this battle. Don't let me down, Joshu. You wish me to command your army? Very well. Our first step must be to blunt the momentum of their mounted troops. We must claim strategic points on the front line. But the old cat would never have Fight me now! For glory! We're switching from defense to offense! 
to lose. There is not a strategist alive that can best me in battle. for Han Sui's position. Han Sui! Ah, I see you wish to sow the seeds of distrust to the enemy ranks. Careful how you use our lord strategist. Use me if you want to pawn me. This will do it. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. The harder we fight, the better our victory is going to taste. Came to see how you were. All he needs to do is make contact with Hansway. If the rest of them see that, they'll get suspicious. Lord Cao Cao, you may retreat to safety now. Leave the rest to me. Trust you. You have no place left to go. You. You set me up. You were the one who sent Sao Cao to me. Perhaps I do. But the fact is, your only choice is to join me now or die. My 
lord. Ma Dai is charging forth from the enemy ranks toward us. If he wishes to eliminate Lord Cao Cao directly, he must be stopped at once. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Fight me now for glory. We will not fall behind. are kind of strong. Thanks for coming to help me. Fight me now! For glory! Forgive me, but I cannot go any further. It appears that resistance is over. Let me see what you are capable of. What? Look like I'm having trouble? Nah, it's just my secret plan to throw the enemy off. Ooh, that's great. I'm gonna try that too. Watch me. Hey, you're really doing well out here. I expect nothing less from you. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. this area in order to help support our forces. Everyone have to be so keen to die. 
overcome, you meddling strategist! Face me if you dare! My men fight for as long as I do, and I will never give up! So you're my next opponent! I'll crush you like all of the others! Turn. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall seek! Wan Jong now belongs to you. Where will you go from here, my lord? The future is unknown. Really? I thought you were a man of vision. I am. I simply realize that things do not always go as planned. Including the fates of Liu Bei, Sun Quan, and indeed, my own. I think you're right. Our Lord does seem a little tired. Time is limited. Ma Chao fell in defeat before the strategies of Cao Cao and Jia Xu. Fearful of Cao Cao expanding his influence in the West, Liu Zhang of Yi turned to Liu Bei for help. Considering the chaos of the times, this proved to be a costly mistake. Sensing an opportunity, Liu Bei left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and moved to invade Yi. By seizing Yi from Liu Zhang, Liu Bei managed to establish a foothold in his own quest for power. Cao Cao of Wei, Sun Quan of Wu, and now Liu Bei of Shu. The land was divided into three. Upon hearing of Liu Bei's conquest of Yi, Cao Cao advanced his men toward Han Zhang, which was under the control of Zhang Lu. By securing Han Zhang, which lay to the north of Shu, he would seal off Liu Bei's movements. Indeed, it seemed a very natural move for the ruthlessly logical Cao Cao to make. However, Sha Ho Yuan and the others felt uneasy as they headed for Yangping Gate. They felt as if Cao Cao was uncharacteristically acting out of haste. Time is limited. Even the hero of chaos could not change this law of nature. General, it is time, lost in thought, General. I was thinking about how it used to be just me doing and our Lord. Our kingdom has grown, and that's a good thing, you know, but... The people have been drawn to the three of you. It's only natural. And this battle is your chance to prove why. Well, 
We can't be late. Let's get going. We'll dazzle them! Here, we are doomed. I bring news. We have discovered the enemy supply depot. Supplies are the foundation of any of them. We can secure them. We will bring the enemy to its knees. Enforcements have appeared. The target will be our lord. We must keep him safe. So you're my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I can't believe they lost to someone as scrawny as you. That's another enemy pounded into submission. Zhang Lu is on our side. A few cuts and bruises will be healed in no time. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. I've more than earned my reputation. It is an honor to face you on behalf of my lord. is not necessarily to lose. That's another enemy pounded into submission. Zhang Lu is on our side. A few cuts and bruises will be healed in no time. Leadership is just what I would expect from you, General. What a beautiful example you set for us all. Such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. You are low. You 
from you, General. What a beautiful example you set for us all. met someone so strong. That's another enemy pounded into submission. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. UN, well met. in a most difficult spot.
The sooner this war ends, the sooner we get to relax. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Young Lee's on our side. A few cuts and bruises will be healed in no time. My people look up to me. They need me. I must fight on. We cannot do anything without the I've more than earned my reputation! Hmm. I see some sort of sorcery at work. He is drawing his strength from somewhere else. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. That's another enemy pounded into submission! March to glorious victory! I cannot 
die. Not with so much left to do. That's another enemy pounded into submission. I bring news. The forces of Wu are headed for Hefei. And now Wu is on the move. Sneaking up while our backs are turned. Thanks to the efforts of Shaho Yuan and Zhang He, the lands of Han Zhang now belong to Cao Cao. However, there were three kingdoms vying for control of the land. By attacking one, you merely left yourself open to be attacked by the other. Sensing an opportunity to strike Cao Cao, Wu moved its army north. At Xu's behest, they advanced their forces to Hefei. The bulk of the Wei forces were concentrated in Hanjong, leaving their defenses in Hefei thin. Amid the commotion within the camp, Cao Cao stood alone, calm and collected as always. He was determined to defend Hefei by any means necessary and would not give it up without a fight. As the Wu army closed in, his blade stood firm, glistening in the sunlight. The Wei ranks were blessed with the presence of Zhang Liao, and the legend which would be told for generations to come was about to begin. The Wu forces are relentless. We should hold up and await reinforcements. Unless we strike back, the castle will fall. I, for one, am not afraid to give my life for the good of my kingdom. I am Zhang Liao. Who will face me? I will accompany you. You must inspire our troops with great deeds. Witness my might.
withdraw for now. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. We've done it! The enemy vanguard is no more! <laughs>